Right, this is the second video update. Uh, pulling a micron gauge, a deep vacuum on a clean, brand new recovery cylinder using a silicone rubber hose, not a refrigerant hose. And you can see how far it pulls down, down to 30 microns, as you can see right here. Now for those of you who have already purchased micron gauge, on my recommendations you know trying to learn how to use it but it's been kind of difficult and you don't understand what's happening if the system has moisture in it it will rise if you use a refrigerant hose not a rubber hose but a refrigerant hose and you have a micron gauge attached to a refrigerant hose you will show it'll read the loss of moisture contamination refrigerant contamination in any amount of leakage through refrigerant hoses that don't occur in uh, silicone hoses, as you can see here. So right here, I'm gonna shut off the micron gauge. And many people have asked me, why does the micron gauge keep going up? It keeps going up because one, you may have a leak. Two, you still have a lot of moisture. And then three, you're reading your micron gauge through a set of refrigerant hoses, which you should not be doing. So let's watch out here when I turn off the vacuum. Okay, so I just shut the vacuum and all of you who have used these before You'll see that It shoots up uh, mostly but this time it's not shooting up. It's staying down even though I have killed the vacuum It stays down So try to repeat that any of you who have this gauge try to repeat this exact same thing I'm showing you right here what really happens when it's done properly. All right. Oh, this is 